Hello and welcome to my channel. Uh, in a previous video I went over a similar computer to the one I'm showing you today. Uh, the one in the other video that I have is uh, the FX170. This one is the FX130. They look very similar uh, but they're, they're different internally. Uh, they have different CPUs and different chipsets. So I'm gonna go uh, through this one and show you uh, what's what it's all about. So let's get started. All right. First thing I'm going to show you is the ex the exterior of the device. Um, it has um, in the front. It's got the power button. It's got uh, an activity light for networking. It's got a headphone jack, microphone jack, and two USB 2.0 ports in the front. It's got a little stand that is uh, screwed in using this screw right here. And uh, in the back of the unit, you have a 12 volt power input, a PS2 keyboard connector. So you don't have to give up one of the, the USB ports to a keyboard if you'd like. You could have four USBs and a PS2 keyboard. You have a DVI uh, port with VGA. So the way you can tell is that you have these little, these four little uh, holes right here. That's for RGB and um, another signal that VGA needs. That way you can use this adapter or any other DVI to VGA adapter and convert your VGA, your DVI to VGA. Okay. You also have two additional USB 2.0 ports and an Ethernet port here. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and open this up for you and show you what's inside. Okay, to open this up is pretty simple. So you just take off the stand. And we take up, we look inside. If you look at this way, um, you can see the in, the the um, memory uh, inside. So you're going to take off this cover and that's done by taking off these four screws right here. So let's go, let's go ahead and do that. Just don't lose them because usually you want to end up with the same number of screws that you took off going back in. You know, that, that sometimes never happens, but in this case, let's aim for that. All right, so four screws off. And uh, what we do is, I, there's a little lip right here. Just pull it off and the cover comes off. Notice that this is not a symmetrical cover. There are three little lips right here and that's the front of the unit. So when you look at this side right here, there's three little indentations there where those lips go in. All right, so now that, we, that we're inside, let me show you a little bit of what's in here. Um, first thing you notice is this big heat sink. This is uh, underneath here is the CPU and the chipset. The CPU is a VIA Eden, one gigahertz chip. And it's a VIA uh, chipset with a Chrome 9, like S3 Chrome 9 uh, video card embedded on, on the chipset. It's got a one gigabyte DDR2 SO DIMM. So you can take this off. I don't think that this unit is upgradable to two gigabytes. I believe that it's one gigabyte is, is all you get. Um, that's the unit right, that's the two gigabyte, uh, sorry, that's the one gigabyte DDR2 module right there. Put it back in there. This is a four gigabyte um, IDE um, flash memory module. This unit originally came with a one gigabyte module and uh, I upgraded it to a four gigabyte. And underneath that module is a is a uh, battery for the uh, clock. And it, it, this is a little speaker right here. If you look here, 
that's a little speaker. So it does have very faint onboard audio, which actually this is this this is not beeps. This this is not like a PC speaker. It's it's actually playing back the sound effects from the onboard uh, sound card. Cool. So that's all there is in there. Uh, I'm not gonna take off this off. If you wanted to take off the motherboard, uh, the way you would do that is there are four screws holding down the motherboard. There's one underneath that shield. There's another one right here. There's one in this corner. And there's one down there. And then after you take those four off, you have to take off this and that. And then the, the whole entire board slides off like that. All right, so let me put this back together and uh, get a monitor up and we'll see it boot up. Okay, here we are. I plugged in a USB mouse, a USB keyboard, a USB CD-ROM drive in the front here, and a simple 15-inch uh, Dell LCD. And uh, it's a four by three ratio. So uh, using that VGA adapter that I showed you earlier. And um, let's go ahead and power this up and I'll show you uh, through what, what's installed. Okay, turn on the power. I'm gonna go into the BIOS, press F2. So it's a Phoenix BIOS, so you can see, nothing special. Uh, you go through here and uh, you see that you have a four gigabyte hard drive. There's a secondary ID channel, but there's no access to it. It's got one gig of, of uh, RAM, but it has 982 free because 64 megs of that goes to the RAM. So you can set the, the boot priorities. If you plug in a USB disc, you can change the setting here to so that you can actually change the setting, the, the the priority of the disk. You can boot from the CD, the hard drive, you know, typical stuff. Uh, here you can uh, enable uh, boot from from the network, or you can disable the or enable the onboard audio. You can set the amount of RAM that you want to allocate for the video. I have it set for to 64 megs. You, if you need, if you have a game or something that requires more video RAM, you can play with the setting here. And here is like everything is set up for um, high speed and, and USB support for keyboard and mouse. Uh, power management, nothing here to mess with. I would leave that alone unless, unless you know what you're doing. Okay, so I'm gonna exit without saving. And uh, we'll let it boot up. Okay, so I went ahead and actually added something else that I was missing uh, to my little setup here. Some USB powered uh, speakers with some RGB lights that I got from Amazon recently. And uh, that way we can actually listen to some, some something. <laughs> and uh, if you go here, you can test the audio. Hmm. Cool, so that works. Uh, this is Windows Embedded Standard. It's a Windows XP Pro, basically, uh, but it's a, it's it's like a, it it takes up less space, and uh, it's it's got all the updates. It's got Service Pack three, and uh, as you can see here, it's it's running on a Via Eden, uh, one gigahertz, with one gig of RAM. All the drivers are installed. The dri the video driver is a Via Chrome nine HC. IGP, integrated graphics uh, processor, and um, all the drivers are installed. The hard drive, it's, there is a 2.7 gigabytes free on this drive. And if you wanna extend it, you can simply just add a, 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 a small little USB drive. I usually add a 64 gig uh, drive uh, for storage. Uh, Windows XP makes it really easy. You can actually install all your software to that drive uh, and you never have to actually fill up your C drive. 
works really well, especially for games. You can just install all your games to the the the, the external drive. All right, so uh, um, that's basically it. There's nothing. This is a, a fresh install of Windows XP, and uh, now what I want to do is I'm gonna go ahead and install StarCraft so that we can play something that is period specific to this to this era. This is a game that um, was available for Windows XP and uh, well Windows 95 and 98. So let's see how it works. Okay, I'm gonna try to install this. All right, so StarCraft is installed. I'm gonna go here to the control to the start menu. StarCraft. Let's play StarCraft. But let me lower the volume a little bit here. Starcraft. I can't see you think, Jim. Okay, so let's skip this intro. It's kind of a cool intro, but let's skip it. Cool. That's fab. That's good. Alright. Let's do single player. And uh, let's call tech guy. Works really well. It's really fast. For these type of games, this is an ex excellent little machine. It takes up very little space, and uh, yeah, uh, in ten minutes, up and running. So actually, that's like two minutes for in after installing the software. So I don't know how to exit this thing. Escape, maybe? I'll quit. There you go. And that's it. Okay, so let me go ahead and install something else and, um, and get back to it. All right, so I just installed another one here. It's called Counter-Strike. This is Counter-Strike 1.6. And uh, we're gonna see together if this game actually loads on this uh, via Eden one gigahertz with a, an S3 Chrome 9 video card. All right, so I'm gonna launch Counter-Strike Warzone. Okay, so I'm gonna go to new game. Let me go to options and see something there. 
video. We'll put it 800 by 600. All right, let's see, new game, number of CPU players, nine, normal, game, I have no idea. All right, let me start. Okay, that's taking a little bit, but at least it, doesn't, it hasn't crashed. You are playing Counter-Strike 1.6. Okay. Terrorist forces, select team. I don't know, let's auto assign and uh, auto select. Oh, that works pretty good. This is software rendering. Shot. Oh, oh, oh. Damn it. I'm gonna go play it. Well, you can see that it works. Alright, so another game that I wanted to try out here on this machine is uh, Quake 3. So, Quake 3 has uh, should, should exercise some of the OpenGL or directory, directory features of this machine. So, um, let's see if it works. Um, I'm 50 50 on this. I'm not sure whether I have Directory properly configured or not. So let's see. Okay, that's a good sign. Okay, set up. Game options. Okay, system. 640 by 480, GL extensions on, display, all right, let me see, single player, let's try that, fight, Bring it on. Oh, and it works. Nice. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, what happened? Where am I? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, I'm awful. <clears throat> oh, I killed myself. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. Uh oh. Wow, I don't even last 30 seconds. There you go. First kill, but I'm pretty much gonna last like... And I killed myself. I blew myself up. Cool, so that works. Alright. Alright, well I hope you've enjoyed this video. This is a little FX130 from Dell. Uh, and. If you like this kind of stuff, be sure to subscribe. I also sell these units and I'll put a link in the description below uh, where you can actually buy one from me. And uh, yeah, uh, let me know in the comments what you think. If you'd like for me to try another game and another uh, video with this machine or something else, let me know. All right? well, stay cool and uh, talk to you next time. Bye.